All right, so you have tenants who are not paying their rent on time. What should you do? So this really depends on whether you're a big time landlord or a small time landlord. So right now for me personally, I'm a small time landlord. If you're a big time landlord like Pangea, Mac Properties in Chicago, Donald Trump, like, you know, somebody's not paying, hey, give them a, a rent notice, five day late notice, you know, then they don't pay after that, you know, go to court, get an eviction and hey, that's that. If you're a small time landlord, depending on how much money you have, you might have to work with people. It is what it is. And like, that's kind of a sucky thing. Like, you know, you want to evict somebody, but if you don't have all the money that you need to, to be ready for one, not getting any future rent payments, then also having to go through the eviction process, it could be tricky. And plus, besides it being tricky, sometimes you have people who are good tenants, but they hit a rough patch and you like this tenant, but you want them to stay. And that's where it becomes tough to make a decision. Like I've had that happen in the past where I have tenants who I do like, but somehow they get behind. You know, this happens, that happens, and I have to make a decision if I want to work with that person or not. Now, if you have somebody who already you don't like as is as a tenant and now they're not paying, in my opinion, typically that's an easy response. Like, you know, okay, I'm going to file eviction. I've been wanting to get rid of you anyway way so you have to go now luckily for me i've never had to fully evict somebody so what do i mean by that i've never had to actually have the sheriff come and throw that person out i've had had to go to the court to file eviction once actually i think uh three times before but this is what i did and i greatly suggest you do this one of the best books i ever read in my life was how to win friends and influence people by dale carnegie i read that book once a year and i think everybody should read it but definitely if you're a landlord because what that book teaches you is how to talk in terms of what the other people want so i've had it happen before where i want to evict somebody and literally i just make sure that me and that person can still talk and be on somewhat good terms you know don't get frustrated try to reserve your anger don't get mad at them but you want to level with that person so i make them realize that hey neither one of us want to go through an eviction like you don't want to be evicted i don't want to have to go through the bs of having to evict you you know i think it'll be better for both of us if you just leave and i'll make sure that the eviction notice i already filed i make sure i don't see it through like when we have to go to court i'll make sure to cancel it i don't show up whatever because i just want to get that person out if i go through the eviction process especially here in the chicagoland area and actually just illinois in general tenants have a lot of rights and it's not that easy sometimes as a landlord to get that person out and the last thing you want as a smaller landlord is to have somebody in your apartment or in your house for three months four months five months and you're not even getting paid for that person that's how a lot of people end up with a bad taste in the mouth for being a landlord or just being in real estate in general i greatly suggest talking to the tenant and just leveling with them and just showing them the benefits of why they should just leave the apartment instead of staying there. One of the things I definitely harp on because I'm a Section 8 landlord, I always talk in terms of their kids because I tell them if you want to be in a good area where your kids feel safe, they can go outside and go play, you have access to good schools, you definitely cannot get an eviction on your record because I will lock you out of getting into so many good places in good neighborhoods. So if you're a smaller landlord like me, definitely assess the situation first. If this is a tenant that you want to keep or a tenant you want to get rid of. If it's a tenant you want to keep, figure out where to work with them, have them do, you know, a extra rent payment or extra like, you know, money on their rent moving forward, try to catch up. If this is a tenant who you don't want to keep, I suggest immediately give them a five day notice, start the eviction process. But before you go all the way through it, try to talk them into leaving first. That's my best recommendation. See if you can get them to see why it's more beneficial for them that they just leave the unit as a Suppose you having to go all the way through and filing full eviction. All right. Got more videos coming up. As again, thank you as always. Till next time, guys.